Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own fish tank setup as a planted aquarium. Now this is going to be a beginner's guide to fish tanks and to planted aquariums. So you don't need a lot of experience with fish tanks. You don't need any experience with planted tanks. If you're somebody that wants to get into it, then this video is going to help you. I know a lot of times it's very daunting to see other people's fish tank setups, to see videos on YouTube. YouTube, and it's kind of like, oh, where do I start? Well, today's video is just for that. After watching this, you're going to be able to set up your own planted aquarium without much difficulty. So I'm really excited about this because I'm going to be filming this video over several weeks. However, you're going to get to see all of it all in one video. Now, the first part of the video that I'm going to be doing is unboxing this fish tank. I want to show you guys all about the fish tank, what it has, all of the products that you're going to be seeing in this video today are going to be going into the beginner's uh, fish tank setup. So it is recommended that you stick to the products that I am going to be showing you here, but I am trying to make this as easy as possible for somebody who's never even had a fish tank to be able to set up a planted aquarium. So the reason I picked out these products is because they are going to basically make your life easier if you are trying to get into planted aquariums. So first to start off with, let's talk about the tank that we're going to be using. Now this is a Fluval Flex 15 gallon aquarium. It's really, really nice. This is just a really pretty tank. It looks different than most tanks, so that's really cool. But besides that, it has a lot of stuff already in it that is going to be really useful for our planted aquarium. So I guess I should get started with opening up this box so I can show you exactly what it comes with. Now before we get rid of this box, I actually wanted to show this side of it. This actually shows you what type of fish you can put in this aquarium. I really like that. I have to say that that is probably one of my favorite things about the Flex is that it shows you what type of fish can live in here and it's actually accurate. I get kind of frustrated when people want to put fish in really small tanks or if it's just a tank that's not suited for them. So I think it is just really awesome that there actually is a list of fish that you can put in there. Of course there's other fish besides just the ones there but those are some really popular and common ones that are easy to get at your local pet store. Alright, so this was shipped to me. I did not buy this in a store. So it is very nicely packaged. It's not damaged at all, thankfully. So don't be afraid about getting this shipped to you. So one of the things that I want to point out about this fish tank is that it actually does go out to the side, uh, up the um, bevel, I think it is called. And that's different than most tanks. Some tanks have it like out in front if they're not, you know, completely straight. But this one's a little bit different. And you're going to see later in this video, it's not going to distort the way that the fish and the plants look inside. It's going to look really good. Now, one of the most important things about this tank is that it comes with the light. And this light supports plant growth. So that's something really important since we're doing a planted tank. Even if you decide you don't want to do the planted tank, this is still a really cool light. It changes to different colors. It has different settings all of which I'll probably, you know, get to later on in the video. But, you know, either way, it's a really nice light for a fish tank. So right here is where you have the filter system. It's, you know, really not that visible. So it makes, you know, the fish tank look really nice. Let's turn this fish tank around so you can see it. This right here is the filtration system. So everything's already on the back of the fish tank, which is really cool because um, I've had you know the other fish tanks you guys might be familiar with, where you have to put the little filter up here, um, or if you have you know the one that goes underneath uh, your cabinet, and it can get kind of just annoying to deal with those. So I really like that it's actually behind the fish tank. I think that's pretty cool. So we have this filtration system, which also. Uh, it does have the little bag of carbon and everything that you need. And then this one here is the pump. It comes in the box right there and it goes where it was. It's going to be pumping the water back out right through there. See there's that hole to go back into the tank. So it goes from here around the filter system in a circle. Alright, so let's really quick take a look at some of this stuff that the tank came with. And of course, here's the little nozzle. This is where the water comes out 
and it's gonna give it enough pressure while position it in a way that you won't have to get a air pump for it. So this will create a current and also help put oxygen in your water. Of course it did come with the remote. Now there are 80 different color options for this tank and it also has like storm mode and daylight and moonlight and all of that but I'm going to tell you more about that when once the tank is actually up and running because you'll be able to you know see for yourself so it's better than me just talking about it. And so that's our Flugel 15 gallon tank and we're going to get started on making this look really cool. Alright, now I've found a good place to put the tank to start working on it. This is where the tank's actually going to go. I don't want to be moving the tank after I fill it up. And the first step is going to be adding in the soil, putting in the wood that I've already had soaking so hopefully it's not going to turn the water cloudy. Now this is the type of dirt that I'm going to be using for this planted tank. This is the Fluval soil for planted aquariums and it helps encourage plant growth, it helps give you the right pH levels, and it's also friendly to shrimp and all of that. As far as potting soil goes for this, I do not recommend it. Just stick with this Fluval soil, it is made for aquariums, it's not going to get your water dirty. I've had really horrible, horrible experiences using other soil soil such as potting soil so I don't want that to happen to you it's just a nightmare how awful the water gets so it is not worth saving a few bucks to go with a different type of soil make sure that you're using this aquarium soil I used the eight pound bag for this tank and you really only need one you want about an inch to two inches of soil so basically with this piece of wood in the middle I needed to cover up everything around it and it took just one bag after this, I recommend letting the tank cycle for a week or two before adding your plants. H2O, an aquarium plant company, provided all of the plants for this tank. I was very impressed with their customer service and the quality of the plants that I received from them. I have ordered from other companies and it's just not cool when you get small, half-dead plants. So I definitely recommend going with H2O and if you order from them, use the discount code HAPPYTALES for 15% off your order. And these are the plants that I got from H2O and I'll be explaining where to plant them. This information will also be in the description of the video. And I'm gonna try really hard to pronounce the names of these plants, uh, but don't get upset if I totally mess it up. Now for the foreground of the tank, this is basically the front part of the soil. You're going to put in the four leaf clover which I basically kind of just uh, trimmed off the tops of this. And then next is gonna be the cryptic lucin. And of course some moss balls, which will float at first, but they'll eventually sink down to the bottom. Now for the midground, this is basically kind of the middle of the tank. You're going to put in the Ludwiga SP Red. <laughs> Hopefully I said that one right. But again, all these names are gonna be in the description, so just check them if you don't know what I'm saying. The Rosetta Sword and the Tiger Lotus. Now in the background, we're gonna be putting the Water Sprite Lace and the uh, Rotella Indica. Now for the hardscape, so this is basically your logs and things like that. You're going to be attaching the Anubius, Java Fern, and Java Moss. So basically you can kind of just try to fit these in around the log. I used some of the split down the log to secure the plants into place. You can also use dental floss to tie the plants to the log. Just, you know, make sure you get one that's plain and doesn't have anything added to it. Now H2O also provided me with the fertilizer for the tank. And so they sent me this one, it's called Thrives. And this one is for planted aquariums that do have shrimp. So it's really important, like I was saying earlier, I use the soil that is safe for shrimp. You wanna make sure that what you use for your tank is safe for shrimp uh, if you're putting them in there. Not all the products made for planted aquariums are safe for shrimp, so that's something that you definitely want to look into. So they sent me this one, and basically it's one pump for five gallons, so for 
our tank, we're just gonna be pumping it three times. And then you wanna use it once a week to three times a week. Now I'm only using it once a week and the tank looks amazing. All the plants are growing, so really, really good stuff. Now the other thing that H2O sent me was also these Vita tabs, and this is for fertilizer for the tank. Uh, about you know six months from now so that's really really nice of them to have provided me with this so that I can also um, use that in the future. Now I also added a heater to the tank after planting. I'm using the Fluvolt 50 watt heater. Now in a planted tank you're typically going to have tropical fish that need a high water temperature so it's really important to put a heater in the tank. After planting the tank I put in about 10 shrimp when I planted the tank, I did a water test on it, and these were my results. So ammonia and nitrates are pretty high, which is totally normal for a new tank. And then after that, I let the tank cycle for two weeks and did a 15% water change and did a water test again. The ammonia was under 2.5. I feel like the photo makes it look a lot more green than it actually was, but the ammonia levels were very good, and the nitrates were actually perfect. Now if your tank doesn't have the right water levels at this point, you may need to do water change again and wait. There are also products you can buy to help bring down these levels, but if you're going to be using the products I mentioned and letting it cycle, you should be just fine. So basically the second water test meant that the tank was ready for fish. Now don't forget to add a conditioner to the water before adding fish. You don't want them to die from chlorine. I used the Fluval Aqua Plus to make the water safe for the fish. Now the fish that I added to the tank is a male beta, some fancy guppies, and several neon tetras. To my surprise, my favorite animals in the aquarium were actually the shrimp. They're really neat to watch and the ones I got are completely clear so you can see them eat and it's very weird and very entertaining to watch. So all in all, it's actually very easy to set up your own planted aquarium. I know it just sounds so daunting and you look up information on websites and all of that and it, it, they make it really complicated, but as you can see, it's not. Just follow these simple steps and it, it looks amazing. Like the tank just looks so pretty. So here's the aquarium about two weeks after planting with all of the new fish in it. And as you can see, the plants have just really grown a lot. Uh, some of the purple leaves in the back. Now that plant was a lot smaller when I got it. It just looks amazing. And then the four leaf clover, which I was so happy he sent me since I am Irish. That meant a lot. Um, that one is actually spread a lot throughout the bottom and it's even going up the wood. It's starting to attach its roots to the wood. So that was really cool. I did not expect that. So I'm going to be showing you the light settings on the tank so that you can also see those now that the whole thing is set up. Now it comes with this remote. So I'm going to be controlling the lights with this. Okay, so you can go from your daytime light to your nighttime light. And it would actually make a really cool night light for a bedroom. I think it looks really pretty like this. Usually I do turn the light down because this is in the same room as with the birds. If you don't have that issue, then that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to turn the daylight back on and then show you the storm setting. This one I think is pretty cool. And it does look like lightning. It has a pretty good effect. So that one's pretty cool. And then of course it does have a lot of other colors that you can choose from. So with this one, this setting will actually change the colors and it'll just um, go from all types of different colors, purple, blue, greens, reds, uh, just about everything. So that's also a really neat setting. And then of course, any of these settings that you do like, you can actually just leave it on that color. So if you wanna leave it on a green color or if you want it red, you can also you know, leave it on this color. So the remote actually has tons of different settings that you can use for this.
All the links to everything that I used in this video are going to be in the description down below so you can find everything that you need to set up your own planted aquarium. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped you get the courage to start your own planted aquarium. If you have any questions let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to see if I can help you and also let me know if you're going to start your own planted aquarium. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more information about pets and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!